Hey there, I'm Michelle and on behalf of the Yoga for Change team, I want to welcome you to this chair yoga sequence and also thank you for uh, choosing this video, choosing to practice with me today. The only thing that you need for the practice is a chair, preferably one that does not have armrests, though if that's the only thing you have access to, that will work. Um, a few optional props are blocks, or you could also use books, or anything really to bring the earth a little closer to you. This can be particularly useful, not only if you have shorter legs, as I do, um, but it can really help you to be safer and move more deeply into some of the shapes. No books or blocks, maybe you grab a pillow or a couple pillows or roll up some towels, you can get creative, all right? So if you want to push pause right now and um, gather any props, welcome to do that. If not, we'll get started. So the most important thing throughout our practice together is awareness of our breath, is being guided by our breath in and out of shapes. So we will lay the foundation for our practice first by practicing what's called square breath. So come into a comfortable seat, shift around a little bit, feel your feet on the earth or on a prop. Have your knees in line with your ankles, your head over your heart, your heart over your pelvis. And then I invite you to bring your hands to wherever it feels natural for you today. And hopefully that is in a way where you have some balance between right side and left side of your body. And then if it feels safe, I'll invite you to gently close your eyes and become aware of your breath. To become aware of your breath, you might first listen to your breath as it flows in and out through your nose. You might feel your belly expanding as you inhale and feel your navel move towards your spine as you exhale. Grounding down through your feet, feeling the support of the seat beneath you, growing up through your spine and the crown of your head, continue to feel and or listen to your breath. As you inhale, you might feel a wave move from your feet up your front body to the crown of your head and as you exhale you might feel a wave move from the crown of your head down your back body to your heels. A couple more full cycles of breath, nourishing inhales, calming exhales, breathing at your pace doing your best to create an evenness between your inhales and your exhales. And now I'm gonna invite you to count your breathing and have it, have your count go to three or four. Some of you might go to five. And at the top of your inhale, you'll hold your breath in for the same length that you inhaled. So if you're inhaling for a count of three, holding your breath for a count of three, and then exhaling for the same amount, count of three, and then at the bottom of your exhale, holding your breath out for that count of three, or four, maybe five. So we'll do this for three or four more rounds, inhaling for a count of three or four, holding your breath in, exhaling for a count of three or four, and holding your breath out. Imagine as you breathe that you are breathing around a box. You might even imagine that you move your finger from one corner of the box to another corner as you inhale, 
from the second corner, you slide your finger down the second side to the third corner as you hold your breath in. Continuing to slide your finger along the third edge as you exhale. And then completing the cycle by sliding your finger along the fourth edge as you hold your breath out. And then I'm going to invite you to let go of the pause at the top and bottom and let your breath be a continuous inhale right into your exhale. And then from here, being guided by our breath, we'll begin to invite movement into our practice. So we're going to begin today with our neck. As you inhale, draw a large circle in the sky with your nose. And as you exhale, draw a second circle. So do this a few more times. Two more inhales, two more exhales. You might begin to get lost in your breath. Or you might be distracted by a kink in your neck, and if so, you can pause in that spot and work it out a little bit. And then go ahead and reverse your circles. So inhaling, drawing a large circle with your nose. Exhaling for the next circle. Two more big inhales, two more complete exhales. Feeling the floor underneath your feet, feeling your sits bones in your seat, feeling your spine lengthen toward the sky. From here, we'll begin to circle our shoulders, inhaling a full rotation. Exhaling, another full rotation. Two more times, two more inhales, two more exhales. So four more times, circling. Didn't know you were gonna get a math lesson with your yoga, huh? Homeschooling mama. All right, y'all, we'll reverse it now. Inhale, circling back. Exhaling, full circle back couple more times, really feeling full range of movement. One more big inhale. One more long exhale. And then we're going to bring our hands behind us, either on the base of the seat or maybe on the back. And as you inhale, look up, draw your shoulders back and away from your ears. And as you exhale, draw a line with your nose, round your spine, shoulders toward your ears. Two more times, inhale, looking up, shoulders move away. And as you exhale, navel comes toward your spine, shoulders hug toward your ears. One more time, really. Notice if you can access a little more fluidity in your spine this last time. Beautiful. And then coming to a tall seated shape, hands resting naturally on your legs. Now as you inhale, your hands might slide back to your hip creases, elbows in, looking up, opening across your heart. As you exhale, drawing that line with your nose, hands toward your knees, back toward the back of the chair. Two more times, inhaling, leaning toward me, and exhaling, going within, rounding your spine. One more time, inhale, look up, you feel a little puppy belly here, and as you exhale, press your back toward the back of the chair, and we'll come up to standing tall. On your next inhale, we're going to sweep our arms behind our ears, up and overhead. Exhaling, hands come straight out. Inhaling, arms to the sides. Exhaling, arms float down. Two more times. Inhale, hands move behind our ears, up and over. 
Exhale, ground down through your feet as you lower your arms. Inhale, open, reach a mile beyond your fingertips, and then exhale, floating your fingers down. Last time, full inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, arms down. And then go ahead and shake out your arms. It's okay to smile as you do this, have a little fun, stay with your breath. And then we'll bring our hands, either one, both hands to one leg or hands resting evenly on both legs. So I'm gonna to choose to have both hands on one leg and we're just gonna kinda of inhale, drawing the knee out, exhaling the knee back in. So again, letting your breath be your guide here. Pressing down through the foot that's planted on the earth. And then stepping that foot to stillness and we'll repeat that on the opposite side. Real gentle movement. Grounding down through this flat foot. Growing up through your spine. Inhaling your knee moves out. Exhaling, coming back to center. One more time. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna turn 90 degrees in the seat. This is where not having arms helps, but if you do, it's okay. Um, it's okay, you can just, your leg will just be on a diagonal. So bringing one knee out, and the opposite knee is gonna point straight down toward the earth. This can also be where one of these props is helpful. So both knees, as best you can at a 90 degree angle. Inhaling, lifting through your heart. Exhaling, letting go of the day. Your hands can come to wherever feels natural for you. Maybe they're both on your front leg. Maybe you wanna reach your arms toward the sky. Two more big inhales. Two more complete exhales. Really feeling a beautiful length in the front of your lower leg. And then we'll come back to center and switch to the opposite side. Can you listen to your breath even in the transitions? Both knees at a 90 degree angle, feeling a length in the front of this lower leg, hands coming to wherever feels natural for you, inhaling, lifting through your heart, exhaling, sending energy down your back, down through your feet, inhale, growing a little taller, exhaling, grounding down, inhale, you might reach your arms up. And exhale, you might float your arms down. And then we'll come back to center. This is your practice. So my invitation is always to be guided by your breath first. And if we're in a shape and you want to bring a little more movement into it, you want to sway side to side, you want to do something else with your arms, um, please feel free to do that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is bring our hands down to the seat or to the arms. And three times, we're gonna press into our feet, press into our hands. Inhale, lift up off the chair, and then exhale, lower down. So here we go. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lowering right back down. Inhale, pressing into your feet, pressing into your hands. Exhaling, coming back down. One more time. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And then we're gonna windshield wiper our legs side to side. With the breath, this might be inhaling through center. Exhaling to the side. You can hold on to the chair for extra stability. Inhaling, exhaling the opposite direction. 
Now my knees are moving pretty far. Yours don't have to. Maybe for you, it's right here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Maybe you close your eyes. Beautiful. Coming back to a shape that feels centered, come back to your plumb line, grounding down evenly through your feet, lift your toes, spread your toes, press down through all four corners, and then set your toes back down. Grounding down through your feet, growing up through the crown of your head, Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. As you exhale, swan dive down. Head hangs heavy like a bowling ball. Hands to your shins as you inhale, look up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, releasing your hands to the earth. Root down through your feet as you inhale, rise up, activate your legs, reach to the crown of your head, and then exhale, we'll draw our hands down our midline. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, rooting down, rising up. Exhale, folding, letting your head hang heavy. Then coming up halfway on an inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, release. Ground down, inhale as you grow up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, activate your legs. Get taller than you have all day. Exhaling, folding. Inhaling, lengthening, expanding. Exhaling, contracting, folding, going within. Inhaling, expanding. Maybe your gaze lifts. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna step our feet a little wider than our shoulders now and bring one elbow down onto just, just behind your knee. Now you can stay here, toes are pointing out, Knees are still in line with your ankles. If you want to go a little deeper, you can inhale, reach this arm up and overhead. And then notice what's right for your neck today. You might want to look down at your foot. You might want to look up toward your hand. Inhale, reach beyond that lifted arm if you're there. For your shoulder, you might want to bring that arm down if having the arm lifted is too much. And then when you're ready, inhale and come all the way back up. Now pause here. You might close your eyes. Feel your feet in the earth. Feel the heaviness of your sits bones on the seat. As you inhale, lift your heart. As you exhale, notice the sensations that you're experiencing. Notice how the right side and the left side of your body feel differently. Does one side feel more open? Does one side feel a different temperature, maybe a warmth? Does one side feel more tingly? Without any judgment or noticing. And then we'll repeat that shape on the opposite side. So lower your bent elbow to right behind your knee. Keep this arm down or inhale. Reach your arm toward the sky. Gaze either down at your toes or up toward your fingertips. Lengthening through the crown of your head while still staying rooted through both feet and through your sits bones. Take a couple more long, slow, deep breaths. Hold 
On your next inhale, go ahead and come up to center and we'll heel toe the feet together. Now take a moment here to do what feels intuitive to you for three cycles of breath. For me right now, I feel like circling my torso. You might want to twist. You might want to forward fold. Make sure if you do something on one side, now switch, do it on the opposite side. Beautiful. And we'll come back to center. Couple more shapes here. We're gonna move now into a twist. So take one hand and you might bring it to the opposite leg. Grounding down through your feet, growing up through your spine. I'm still oriented toward you, even with my hand crossed over. Really wanna set up my foundation first, pull my navel in, and then twist from my navel. So twisting from my belly, maybe I go this far. Maybe I twist a little farther. The benefit is not in torquing your shoulders around, twisting like this. You see all my knees just came way out of alignment. All right. So be where you're at. Keep your knees even. Maybe your face turns, maybe not. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist maybe slightly more. Beautiful. And then we'll come back to center and repeat that on the opposite side. So opposite hand to opposite knee, sitting tall. Awareness in your belly as you breathe. Exhale, twisting from your navel. Feet are pressing into the earth. Legs are engaged, spine is long. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, twisting from your belly. Maybe this hand comes on the back of the chair. And then we'll come back to center. From here, we're kind of moving down, down the body a bit. Go ahead and bring one foot onto the pinky toe side. So pinky toe side. As you inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, get a little taller. As you exhale, melt your shoulders down your back and lean over a couple inches in the opposite direction of the way your, your knee is resting out to the side. Now with this top arm, can you track that back a couple centimeters? Can you shine your heart toward the sky slightly more? Inhale, lengthen, expand 360 degrees throughout your entire torso, your entire body. Exhale and release. Moving to the opposite side, let the pinky toe side of your opposite foot rest on the earth. You might use a block here or a book to prop this up if you want a deeper stretch. You could even grab another chair and prop this foot up on another chair for a deeper stretch here. Inhale, root down, root down, rise up, pause. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, side bend. Maybe your eyes are straight ahead. Maybe for your neck today, you want to look down. Maybe you want to look up. Underneath that lifted arm, rotate that arm back slightly to shine your heart toward the sky. Breathe deeply here for one more full cycle of breath. Inhale, get long. Exhale and release. From here, we're going to take one foot and place it um, back. So the top of your foot is on the earth, or perhaps the top of your foot is on a block. Okay. Breathing deeply. Pressing into both feet. 
the bottom of your front foot, you're pressing into the top of your back foot. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, melt your shoulders. And then we'll bring this knee up and in and slowly with control, circle your ankle. Notice as you do, as you're breathing, if you can feel the musculature of your leg, what do you notice happening? If you haven't yet, go ahead and reverse your circles, squeezing that knee in, inhaling, exhaling, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. And then we'll extend that leg out, heel to the earth. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, fold forward. Maybe both hands come to your shin. Maybe the hands come down to the earth. Maybe hands are here on your thigh. So really, as you breathe, pull your toes back toward your face. Lengthen your spine. Imagine a line coming out through the crown of your head. And then inhale and we'll come back up. Repeating that on the opposite side. Can you breathe through the transition? I said that as a reminder to myself. <laughs> so opposite foot now, top of the foot goes back. Maybe it's on a prop. Maybe it's on the earth. Play around with it. Notice what feels good in your body. Sitting tall activating your legs. Maybe you're squeezing your legs toward one another. Maybe your arms come into a different shape on this side. Cactus arms. Might feel good to interlace your fingers down behind your back. Draw your fingertips down toward the back corner of the seat. Yep, and then we'll release, hug the knee in toward our heart, sit nice and tall, and begin to circle your ankle. Can you get lost in your breath? And then straightening out your knee, bringing your heel to the earth, Staying rooted, still reaching. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands can come to this thigh, maybe to your calf, or all the way to the earth. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach to the crown of your head. Exhale, let go. Let go of the day. On your next inhale, we'll come back to center. And then letting your breath be your guide, circling your torso. Maybe a inhale is one full rotation. And an exhale is a full rotation. Maybe it's different for you today. You might close your eyes and then reversing your circles. All right, from here, let go of those long, slow, deep breaths and come into a comfortable, comfortable, comfortable seat, a <laughs> passive seat. You could grab a chair, um, or if you have a couch handy, or coffee table, if you're allowed to put your feet on your coffee table. Um, come into a shape that feels really passive, even lazy. You might even lie down on the ground and 
put your legs up on the chair or on the wall. Taking a time for rest at the end of a yoga practice is honestly where the benefit happens. <laughs> it's where the benefit is, where the gold is. So come into a shape, sitting in the chair, lying on the ground that feels supportive and comfortable for you. Let your breath return to its natural, normal pace. Maybe you put a blanket over your body or some socks on. You might put a piece of cloth over your eyes. And then I'll invite you to stay in this most important shape, be in this most important shape in silence and in stillness for as long as you possibly can. invite you to stay right where you are for another minute or 10 minutes. Truly and honestly, you stay there. I simply want to thank you once more for sharing your practice with me today.